Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the second day of the GLF Biodiversity Conference, One World, One Health. Once again, we've broken new ground, and this is now the world's largest conference on biodiversity this year. And why have so many people come here today? Health has always been a targeted outcome of the landscape approach. But what we've learned here is that it must also be an objective. Speaker after speaker has highlighted the urgency to bring these two multidisciplined, multi-sectored collaborative communities together and integrate One Health into the landscape approach in all of our thinking. It may be the last important sector barrier we break down. For me and so many here, it was like meeting a brother or sister you never knew. But we have what could be a long, hard winter ahead of us, and we still can't afford to stop. So let me tell you what we have in, plan have in mind for GLF in 2021. We'll continue to build the global digital commons, sharing knowledge in real times at every scale in every corner of the world. We hope to have the fifth investment case, our program to mainstream sustainable finance and landscapes. We hope to have a regional conference on restoring Africa's dry lands and pastoral landscapes, half the continent. Very exciting as well, we also hope to host a global forum on the biocultural identity of the Amazon with our local partners there and around the world. And last, we hope to come back to Glasgow. If we can't, we'll do a climate conference just like we did a biodiversity conference here online. Learning will continue to grow the Landscape Academy led by Wageningen University. We now have 15,000 participants, we're targeting 100,000. Youth, capacity building, learning journeys, mentorship programs like we did had here, and we'll have them at every forum and throughout the year. Please, news of practice. In 219 communities, all kinds of subjects. We'd like to transition some of those to be formal communities of practice. This is your platform. Please apply to have a community of practice on any subject that will help us build sustainable landscapes. And GLFX, our plan to build 500 community-led GLF chapters to undertake local development and restoration projects around the world. Please apply now. We've had 76 people apply already. We'll continue to work with UNEP and FAO and IUCN to launch and shape the Decade on Ecosystem Restoration ahead of the formal launch 221. And we'll support the World Bank and the GEF to serve as a platform for the billion dollar FOLOR program to build sustainable supply chains for major commodities in 25 countries. I don't think anything can be more important now than these supply chains. To learn more, subscribe to the youth and the general mailing list and let us keep you informed and tell you what's going on. We'll promise not to spam. So thank you for joining in these two days and in joining in this movement to build back a, a healthier, more equitable and more resilient world. Please wear a mask, social distance, hand wash, and take a walk by a city lake, a forest, a mountain, a beach, or across a farm. Take the greatest of care and we will see you soon. I'll now pass the floor to Daniel and Selena to introduce our first exciting new GLFX chapters and our six amazing restoration stewards. Thank you. Daniel, Selena, take it away.
welcome everyone to this launchpad on GLF in action. It is my absolute pleasure to be hosting this session because in the next half hour, we are gonna give you a glimpse into two new initiatives unlike anything the GLF has ever done before. The speakers you'll hear from today are very different. We have scientists, activists, students, and they come from 10 different countries, but they share a common mission. They're committed to creating positive change in their communities, no matter what comes in their way. And this is why we are working with them. As I mentioned, we are going around the world today. Some of our speakers will speak in Spanish. So if you need translation, please use the translation app. It's super simple. Just click on the link, select the language you want to listen in on and mute the video here. But we're sending you more information in the chat. No worries. So the first initiative that we will launch is GLFX. As you saw in the video, GLFX is a new network of independently organized local chapters who are fostering networking, learning, and action on the ground. Today, we are launching our first four chapters. And in the next segments, we will be sharing new information on the Restoration Stewards Program. We will be announcing the winners of this program, and these youth groups announced today will receive sponsorship, mentorship, and training to take their restoration projects to the next level. So, Let's get right into it. The first stop on our GLF in Action digital tour is Veracruz in Mexico. Here we meet a group of women who met each other online. Just like all of you watching, they met for the first time in a GLF digital conference. Last June at the GLF Bond, they had virtual meetups, they networked, and they decided to join forces to work with indigenous communities in the Los Tuxtlas reef system for more sustainable fishing practices. Their goal is to establish a community-based marine reserve and protect fish stocks, which are a cornerstone of their livelihoods. But I'll let them tell you themselves. Let's hear more from this chapter by showing you a video to take us all to GLFX Veracruz. Hello everyone, I'm Sabine Cudney and I'm the chapter director of GLFX Veracruz. Veracruz is a biodiverse state that surrounds the Gulf of Mexico. It is composed of interdependent ecosystems that range from coral reefs, mangroves, tropical rainforests, cloud forests, to even alpine grasslands. Our team has currently focused our conservation and restoration efforts on Los Tuxtlas Reef System that provides invaluable ecosystem services to the local communities in Veracruz. Unfortunately, the current rates of overfishing and destructive fishing techniques used in the region threaten the permanence and health of the reef and compromise the ecosystem services the reef provides. Local indigenous communities have already been affected by the reduction in fish populations due to overfishing. This is why one of our objectives as a chapter is to work with local communities to promote sustainable fishing practices. Moreover, as it is sadly the case for many tropical regions, Veracruz has suffered from massive deforestation mainly to give way to cattle ranching and cash crops. And this is why we want to promote sustainable productive activities such as ecotourism and craftsmanship, which are already prominent in other regions of the state. So this is GLF Veracruz. Thank you for your support and we hope you can join us. I am so happy to share that we actually have Sabina from our Veracruz chapter, as well as Caroline from the GLFX Boulder chapter to be speaking with us today. I would also like to invite on stage Daniel, our GLF Community Specialist, to tell us more about these two chapters and this initiative. Daniel, uh, the floor is all yours. Thank you very much, Selena. It's, it's, it's kind of an amazing day for all of us at the GLF and the entire network of the GLF. Um, welcome, Caroline, and you're also welcome, Sabine, and I'm so happy to Sabine, I'll just start with you. There are just some few questions that we would have to go through. And uh, yeah, Sabine, I have a question for you. And it's, it's just simple. Can you just tell us how you and your, your chapter plan on creating change in your community with, with the GLFX? Thank you for your question, Daniel. So we hope as the chapter, we're going to contribute to restock the fisheries and restore the reefs of the, 
of the communities we're working with. So this could have a direct positive impact to fishermen and fisherwomen and other people working in ecotourism in the region. And we want to make this initiative larger. So for this, we have to work to earn the trust of the neighboring communities so that all the communities in the region can work together and they can share the same fishing agreements. So the restoration comes from several points of the reef and the restoration is uh, faster. And I just want to add that this is our first project of several we have planned. And we would eventually would like to move inland into other ecosystems, such as rainforest and cloud forest that are also present in Veracruz. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charles. That, that is amazing. And we wish you well. We, we, I, I once had something like the GLF Veracruz chapter is an all women chapter that is doing amazing. And I'm proud of you. I salute your team members. Caroline, thank you and welcome from Boulder, Colorado in the US. And you are leading the GLFX Boulder chapter with the current issues in Boulder and your participation as a board of trustee on the open space for Boulder. I would ask you just one question. Why GLFX? With so many initiatives, platforms, and movements to join, why did you want to be a part of GLFX? And what can it help you achieve that others can, considering their context and order? So thank you. Caroline, could you just address that for me? In the context of science, the answer will determine how individuals explore nature, how one does science. And the way one goes about answering a question, one's methodology matters as much as the question itself. For the method of inquiry underlies knowledge and often determines what one discovers. How one pursues a question often dictates or at least limits the answer. And what that means is method matters. A methodology that probes and tests hypotheses regardless of any paradigm will find progress to be inevitable. With Global Landscapes Forum, I can apply research to practical problems, formulate solutions to complex issues, and design effective professional practices that will shape productive, prosperous, equitable, and resilient landscapes. I'm aligned to the answers we are giving at Global Landscapes Forum, and more importantly, to the questions we are asking. That is wonderful. That is very wonderful, Caroline. Thank you very much, um, Selena. I'll hand over to you now. Yeah, it's so wonderful to hear the visions that you have for your communities. Um, and thank you so much for just sharing those two pieces. Basically at this point, we wanna move from the Americas and switch continents to Africa. Our first stop here is in Kenya. The GLFX Nairobi chapter is driven by the idea of learning together and thriving together. This amazing group of individuals seek to create a platform that brings Kenyan youth together around landscape restoration action. The founders of this chapter are young and they bring expertise from restoration, resource management to renewable energy to drive local change. So let's head on over to Nairobi and see what they have in store for us through this video on GLFX Nairobi. My name is Akini Chemtai and I'm one of the coordinators for the GLFX Nairobi chapter. Hello, my name is Kaluki Paul Mutuku, one of the coordinators for GLFX Nairobi chapter. Our vision is landscape restoration action for sustainable multifunctional landscapes in Kenya, powered by youth leadership. So this is more of my home ground area. As you can see, it's partly a mixture of greenery and a mixture of metropolitan infrastructure. GLFX Nairobi will provide an, a knowledge hub and projects and projects that will officially like assist to integrate landscape restoration into this area and hopefully inspire others. So far we've organized a webinar launching a project titled Beyond Ambitions, a dive into climate and restoration action in Kenya, which aims to highlight local actions on the ground by communities, individuals and private sector actors. We will be engaging in several other projects such as visiting and mapping different locations across the Nairobi area. Let's all embrace this global movement, GLFX, 
act locally, impact globally. Thank you so much. Such ambitious youth with lots of energy from Kenya. They were also the first team to host an online event on our GLFX digital platform. I see many of you in the chat who are asking questions about how to get involved. We will share more very shortly. Um, but first, we want to move a little bit further south down to Malawi, where we have a new chapter in the cha capital of Lilongwe. This chapter is supported by one of our charter members, the International Union of Forest Research, IUFRO. And they're also committed to restoration action. But I'll let the chapter coordinators tell you themselves. Let's listen in to this video and hear directly from GLFX Lilongwe. Uh, the GLFX Malawi chapter um, aims to create a landscape that is sustainable and the landscape that will be resilient to supply all the needs of the communities uh, in, in Malawi. Uh, the Malawi landscapes are heavily degraded. This is causing challenges to productivity of the landscape for food production and other economic activities happening on the landscape. Uh, this has become a national uh, challenge and as such it requires all the citizenry of Malawi to engage into restoring the landscape. Our involvement into the GFX has got a big potential to impact in terms of improving the productivity of these landscapes. We are going to bring together all the uh, key stakeholders starting from the farmers. In so doing, uh, our landscapes will become more resilient, will become more productive, uh, which will lead to improved food security to the, uh, to the people living in those landscapes. Water availability and quality will be improved. In so doing, the Malawi will be a transformed country in terms of uh, being resilient to impacts of climate change and other shocks. Thank you. It's so incredible to hear these stories of how we can improve our local landscapes, our cities, our communities, our countries. We're very happy to have with us today two representatives from both chapters. So please join me in welcoming Ms. Laura Mukwana of GLFX Nairobi, and Dr. Makungwa of GLFX Lilongwe. And of course, Daniel, back to the stage for another round of speed interviews. Thank you very much, Selena. It's, it's, uh, it's actually getting excited in here. And I, I just have one question for you, Laura. Laura, you were, the, you were the first people to have a GLFX event and it was amazing. I just wanna ask you, what would be the story of GLFX Nairobi in a year's time? I would like to have a glimpse of the future. Can you tell me what it, it looks like? Uh, thanks a lot, Daniel, for the question. So our story will be of an engaged networking and inclusive space with people from all walks of life, uh, business researchers who are interested in and passionate about landscape restoration. Um, this space will be thriving in local knowledge, innovations, and sustained action for landscape restoration in the Nairobi metropolitan area and hopefully beyond. Um, we'll also have grown in terms of our membership, in terms of our team, in terms of partnerships, in terms of our events portfolio. We'll have integrated well with other local organizations and engaged in raising the awareness of the importance of landscape restoration using the landscape approach. Thank you very much, Daniel. That could be so, so, so amazing in the future. But I seen what you have done before as a team. I really am I mean, great anticipation for it. Dr. Makongwa, thank you very much for being here with us and greetings to all the people watching this from Malawi. Look, I just have one question for you. Um, could you share with us um, about the, the unique collaboration between the IUFRO, the GLF, and um, Casa Malawi, which would empower GLFX Lilongwe chapter as it stands now? Because we are looking at how people, I'm, I'm seeing questions coming in whether NGOs and charter members and organizations could join individuals and, and other people in the, in, the, in the movement. And you and your chapter have this story to tell. Could you tell us how it is? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Daniel, for the questions. Yes, indeed, um, 
the Malawi chapter. We are working with the International Union of Forest um, uh, Research Organizations, which is IUFRO. Uh, they are the chartered members of the GRFX, and they're the ones that have really uh, supported us to establish this new uh, chapter for Malawi. And uh, they also be able to provide, uh, they've also provided with us uh, some of the uh, initial resources for coordination and also develop, I mean, for establishing our liaison office with the GFX at a global level. So yes, uh, IUFRO has played a, a big role and uh, trusted partner in, in this initiative. Similarly with the GFX um, uh, core team, we are also uh, getting support from them to connect us to the global platform where we'll be able to connect with uh, colleagues across the, the world, where we can learn and also you know, share our experiences so that we can enhance this movement as we move forward. Uh, for locally on the ground, we have got Center for Applied Systems Analysis, which is CASA. It's a, a knowledge center uh, based in Lilongwe, which is now uh, on the ground coordination of all the activities related to uh, uh, landscape installation here in Malawi. So it's a link between um, GRFX and also uh, uh, IUFRO in, in terms of implementing these activities on the ground, forming the restoration movement for the uh, people in Malawi. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you very much, Dr. Makungwa. So you see, it is a call for everybody. Everybody can be on board. We, we don't want to put duplication of, of, of efforts. A big thank you to your work as GLFX teams and what you're doing in your community. If you're interested in learning more about the, the chapters, head over to the GLFX platform or just walk, key in the query in the chat box and somebody will just assist you. Selena, over to you. I'm just super excited and I can't wait to have everybody coming on board. Thank you so much, Daniel. Yeah, we can't wait. This is just four countries. If you don't see your country or your city um, having a GLFX chapter, don't worry, you can start your own. We'll share more information in the chat. Um, but right now, I want to take a trip to even more countries. We have Argentina, Indonesia, the Philippines on the list. Um, and I'll hand the floor over to Vanya Almost Lau. She is part of the Youth and Landscape Steering Committee. Um, and we have partnered with Youth and Landscapes to bring to you this Restoration Stewards Program. And so before I introduce Fania and bring her onto the stage, let's quickly watch a short trailer video of the Restoration Stewards Program for which we will announce the selected candidates today. Thank you so much for the introduction. As was said, I am here today to share on behalf of the Youth and Landscape Steering Committee, the names of the young professionals and students which have been selected to be part of the Restoration Stewards Program. But first, I would like to hear from the audience here today. What does restoration mean to you? So I would like to invite all of you to go on slido.com, insert the code hashtag GLFBiodiversity, Go on GLFX and write one word that you relate with restoration. So please, everyone, go on Slido now and start answering this question. What does restoration mean to you? In the, mean, in the meantime, while you all write your answers, let me share a bit more about the Restoration Stewards Program. We have received more than 220 exciting and inspiring applications from more than 60 countries. And we want to acknowledge each and every one of you that applied. Every single project we received has something special. The competition was very high, and we want to make it very clear that you're all already stewards of your own landscapes. The world is better because of your actions and commitment. We also want to thank our selection committee, the experts from our partner organizations, the International Livestock Research Institute, RARE, the Center for International Forestry Research, International Union of Forest Research Organization, the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development, and the Arctic Institute. Thank you for supporting us in the review and selection of the restoration stewards. So before proceeding, I just wanted to say that even if you are not selected today, 
you can be sure that we will be back to you with more opportunities to be engaged and connected. Don't forget, there is an entire decade of ecosystem restoration ahead and opportunities will keep on coming. So with no further ado, I will ask the tech team to play the video that reveals our five winners. So now we're ready, the drums roll, let's see this video. Wonderful, congratulations to you all. And if like me, you counted, you might have noticed a small surprise. Once again, all the entries were highly competitive. So we have decided to engage not five, but six restoration stewards. If you're paying attention, John actually said it at the beginning, but we're playing with the surprise again. I hope that the six restoration stewards are here watching this. And as a matter of fact, I know that two of them are, are here with us. I would like to invite Marlon and Sumarni on stage, aka Screen, to share their thoughts and feelings with us. So, Marlon, eh, también voy a estar hablando en español para todos, entonces, bienvenidos a la escena. Perfect. Well, 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 congratulations to both of you and welcome. I will be asking questions both in Spanish for Marlon and in English. If you need translation from Spanish, check our translation system. So, Marlon and Surnami, could you tell us how you feel about being selected as a restoration steward? Nos pueden contar cómo se sienten de haber sido seleccionados como un restoration steward. So please, Marlon, we hear you. Marlon, adelante. Hola. Me, me siento bastante emocionado de, de poder ser parte de este proceso que creo va a ser de mucha ayuda para mi crecimiento personal y profesional, además de que es una excelente oportunidad para ir más allá con lo que es el proyecto. Muchas gracias, Marlon. Now, Sumarni, we hear you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for having us here. Actually, I'm very happy and excited to, se to be selected as one of the restorations that were. I believe this is a big opportunity for us to elevate our peatland restoration projects and to speak up about the issue that our community face in Kalimantan, especially the forest stations and forest fire, and to show the world that we, Kalimantan youth, cares and proud to take actions as part of the solutions. This is amazing and so great to hear. I am sure our audience wants to learn more from you. But before that, let's go back to our Slido question. What does restoration mean to you? And let's check the answers. All right, so we can see really big, right in the middle, resilience. So restoration to most of you means resilience. We also see some other important words, rehabilitation, balance. I, I really like that one, balance, ecosystems, and cooperation. So we can see this is talking about hardcore science, like balance could say, resilience, rehabilitations, and ecosystem, but we're also seeing that it talks about people, cooperation. We cannot achieve restoration without cooperation. Perfect. Well, thank you so much to our audience for giving you, giving us your input. Eh, Marlon, igual ahí vimos que algunas palabras eran justamente resiliencia, estaba, en pre, estaba justo en medio, cooperación, entonces, bueno, ahorita vamos a regresar a esas, a esas palabras. Um, perfect. So, now, could you share with us in two minutes a little bit more about your project and the way it supports restoration in all those meanings that we just saw? Entonces, ahorita les voy a pedir que en los siguientes dos minutos nos hablen un poquito más de su proyecto y de cómo su proyecto atiende estas palabras que justamente la audiencia puso que significa restauración para ellos. So, Sumarni, first we go with you. Thank you. Uh, the Havilland Project is actually a collective solidarity uh, 
replanting movement where youth from various places in Indonesia take part in the restoration effort. We have been running this uh, project since uh, 2019 or last year and have been engaged more than 3,500 youth from 49 community across Indonesia, including indigenous community. We plant uh, more than 8,000 uh, trees. In Kalimantan itself, we, uh, our team coordinate a tree planting activities in actual burning site uh, with the local student. We believe that young people should not only be given the knowledge on the importance to restore the lands, but also equipped with experience and personal connections to nature and forest. Therefore, our project is designed to, to be able to escalate the youth improvement for one-time actions to a lifetime dedications. Only by doing that, we can see the ripple impacts in the local community, which are the heart of the land. Thank you. Thank you, Sumarni. It was so nice to hear from you. Y ahora, Marlon, por favor, cuéntanos un poquito más de tu proyecto. Claro, en Costa Rica, eh, ecosistemas, los ecosistemas de montaña han, se han degradado por actividades como la ganadería o la siembra de piña. Es por esto que el proyecto Bosque para Nacer Agua es una solución basada en la naturaleza que busca mejorar los servicios ecosistémicos que rodean a las comunidades y mejorar la calidad de vida de las personas indígenas. El proyecto es liderado por eh, un grupo de jóvenes interdisciplinario y mujeres indígenas, lo, el cual busca restaurar las montañas de Boruca eh, que han sido degradadas y deforestadas por diversas actividades. Eh, a través de el voluntariado, la responsabilidad social empresarial, el turismo, hemos logrado generar impacto tanto a nivel ambiental como social en la comunidad y nuestro trabajo nos ha permitido conservar la biodiversidad, apoyar los medios de vida, preservar el patrimonio cultural. Eh, con la ayuda de la comunidad lo que hacemos es identificar sitios de importancia hídrica que se intervienen por medio de metodologías de restauración eh, con especies nativas de importancia biológica, cultural, y este, lo que buscamos es mejorar la infiltración, mejorar la conectividad, mejorar la cobertura forestal, y lo hacemos con ayuda de voluntariados que vienen con nosotros a la comunidad para participar de procesos turísticos y conocer la cultura de la comunidad. Eh, la riqueza natural de Boruca es igual a su cultura, y es por esto que, que el proyecto Bosque para Nacer Agua no solo restaura el paisaje, sino también busca restaurar a las personas para que tengan una mejor relación con el medio ambiente. Muchísimas gracias, Marlon. It was very nice to hear that both of you are, are very clear on what you want to do, and you are also very clear on why you want to do it. And the why is very, very important most of the times. We need to know why we want to do things in order to really, really want to achieve them. So it was nice to see that clearness in both of your projects. And now our last question. Can you tell us in one sentence how you think that the Restoration Stewards program will help you bring your project to the next level? Muy bien, entonces aquí está la última pregunta. Nos pueden decir en una oración cómo creen que el programa de Restoration Stewards va a ayudar a llevar a su proyecto al siguiente nivel. Marlon, adelante. Considero que el programa nos va a permitir mejorar las metodologías de restauración aplicadas en el proyecto y además nos dará el respaldo necesario para lograr conseguir aún más cooperación para seguir trabajando con esta comunidad en el territorio indígena Boruca en Costa Rica y además para buscar expandir el proyecto a otras comunidades indígenas de Costa Rica. Gracias, Marlon. And now, Sumarni, we hear from you. I believe that uh, Restoration Stewart is a platform to invest in people uh, as it is as valuable as investing in the landscape itself. Thank you. 
Well, thank you so much to both of you for joining us. I will leave the floor and we are going back to Selena to close this session. Muchas gracias, Vanya, Marlon, and Sumarni. And thank you so much to everyone who's been watching today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the launch of the chapters and the announcement of the Restoration Stewards. And this only represents the beginning of what GLF has in store. If you want to get involved, we invite you to join the GLFX digital platform. We'll be sending the link in the chat. Not only can you find and meet people in your local communities, you can also take part in our global communities of practice with exclusive events and Q&As with leading experts. The digital platform is your place and the GLF is our community. So tell us what you wanna see and we'll build this community and this global movement together. Thank you so much everyone for joining. Congratulations to the stewards and I will see you all soon on GLFX. Bye. I'm ready to restore the forests. Are you with me? 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 Are you with me?